Hello, today I'm going to show you how to... I'll be right back. Hello there, my name is Philip and welcome to Totally Out Maisie. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a detailed zombie hand. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? Yeah, we're going to take what we've learned from drawing a hand and what we've learned from drawing a zombie and just mash them up together and see what we come up with. It's going to be gross and great. Before we go too far, make sure you like, subscribe and ring that bell button so you get notified as soon as the next exciting episode of Totally Out Amazing comes out. Also, we're going to be doing something a little bit different this time. Whenever you see this guy walk past, don't worry, I've tamed him. Make sure you keep a note of it and we'll have a count at the end to see how many times he goes past. Okay, so for today, you're going to need a pencil, a rubber, some markers, some coloring, and of course some paper. So let's get down to it. Okay, so as always, when we get started, we start off with the basic shapes or the, the skeleton, if you will, but not the skeleton of a zombie. I mean, the skeleton of your basic shapes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a circle here and a circle here, one higher than the other. And then I'm going to draw two lines on a bit of an angle coming back like this. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a hexagon inside my circle to help define where I'm going to put my fingers and all the actual details of the hands. So there's one. And over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, there's two. Okay, so with the fingers, basically keep it simple. Don't overthink things at this point. What it's gonna be is just a line with a bit of a bend. So we're gonna have two here and two here. One finger there, one finger there. This one's coming down a bit more, and this one's gonna be a lot more down. But they're basically sort of like, sort of like that, but they're just one, two. Now the, the thumb, I'm gonna draw a circle over here, and just a line coming out. Okay, now this side, the, we're just gonna have a little slightly different angle. So one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two. And the thumb this time, instead of going straight out, it's gonna be more bent in. So again, we draw our circle, and I'm gonna have a bendy line here. And now as we can see already, we've got a good basic structure. You can actually see already what the hands are gonna look like. Okay, so let's start putting some fine details for the hands. Now with the fingers, I wanna show you something first. I'm gonna draw over here. Now this is what our basic finger is, and we've got our, our folds in there. So it's nice and plump on the sides, and it's all good. But with a zombie, I'm just going to put in our curves here. Remember, it's all more drawn in, the, the skin starting to get pulled back is a lot more rotting. So what you want to do, instead of going out, you want to go in. So what I mean by that is, so we've got our, imagine we've got our knuckle of our bones here, and you want to go in between them, like this. And then the edge is going to be sort of coming to a point. See how it looks a bit more spooky and rotted and not as plump, not as healthy? That's what we're going to think of when we're going to be drawing our fingers. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put in two circles on every finger, except for the thumb, obviously it only has one. So we can get an idea where the um, bow is going to be. And now what we do, we come from our hand and we just sort of bow in and go out to our circles. Bow in and out, and then we just have our point. Bow in, out, and then down. Put a little curve on the base there so it's joining the hand. Okay, this one's coming back from this front finger, so in, out, in, and out, and then to the point. Come back to the circle, in and around, and then again we draw our curve to join it to the hand. This one's coming from over here, so we're going out. This one's going to be going to see a bit more of the top of this hand, so we're going to go in and around. And this time we're going to go to a point, but we're going to bow out a little bit. So imagine like the, the, the finger now is going to be here. Coming in, and there we go, like so. And finally this one over here, again, we'll do the same. And it comes back there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just put in a bit more detail to the hand. So we've got our muscles at the top. Okay, when you're drawing your zombie, you want to still have basic structure of your hand, and then we can work off there to draw the actual zombie part of. So we've got our thumb over here. Instead of drawing curves, though, you want to draw more angled lines. And the thumb this time is going to be the same. So we're going to have our, there's our joint. So again, we go out and bring it back. I'm just gonna put in a little bit of a knuckle over here and then bring that, those lines down. So there's that hand ready. So let's start working on the other hand. This one's gonna have a little bit more of a twist. So I'm gonna have a bit of a start up of the knuckle 
or the back of our hand showing a bit, and it's going to join up from the to, to the join up to the finger. And again, we do the same with our points going in and around the knuckle. Put a curve in, and like so. We're getting there nicely. It's not, not too hard. When you break it down like this, it makes it a lot easier just to figure out how and where the points of the hand are going to go. So we're going around our knuckle. Now remember, if it was a normal finger, we'd be just going straight over like so. But because it's a zombie, we're tapering in to make it look more drawn in. Because zombies are not having a good day. They've woken up on the wrong side of the grave. Quite literally. And now we're just going to put in some brim. You want not so much of a curve, but more harsh angles. Bring this line straight down. And the, hand, the finger is actually going to come up around. So we're going to see the basic front of the finger over here. And very little of the actual, this part of the fingers, of the thumb, sorry. And I'm just going to bring that around. Make it more thummy and then we've got the insides of a hand so we're just going to draw a line across and a line down like that again we have our knuckle on our wrist bring the lines down and there we go okay so they're looking very good they're looking zombie-ish but now let's make them just really yucky like really make it really that's a zombie hand so let's take this finger here and let's say that he's like scraped it and he's, the top of the skin's come off. So he's actually seen part of the bone. I know, right? Yuck. Ugh. But it's going to look cool for a zombie hand. So let's do it. So what we want to do, we draw a curve or a circle right here. And then we put a little bit of a stick shape. So it's like a little rectangle. We'll bring that out. And then around the circle, we'll put little curves around it. It shows like flesh and rot and yeah. And then on the edges, just put some jagged lines to make it look like the skin is torn. And there's our rotting finger with flesh missing. This, it's great, isn't it? <laughs> Whereas on this hand, let's say that he's got some torn flesh on the actual part of the hand. So what we're going to do here, we're going to do a bit of a, a, bit of a curve, sort of like a, a moon shape. Then you put some extra little lines inside. And again, like we did with this one, we're going to put some jagged edges on the outside to make it look like the skin's torn. And there's a, a torn, rotten flesh bit. It's really, really gross. Okay, so now on the arms, let's add some extra rotten bits just to make it look more like a, it, it's really just zombie time. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna draw some jagged lines over here and bring it down. To make it look more like skin, I'm gonna draw, come in a little bit. And I'm just gonna draw some extra lines over inside here so it looks like flesh. Now this side, we're actually gonna see part of the skeleton. We're gonna see part of the bone. So let's start having a go at that. What I'm gonna do again, I'm gonna actually go out a little bit so it looks more torn. I'm gonna draw my jagged lines again. And bring it down. I'm gonna go straight down. Now this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw two lines. So there's one bone and there's another bone. This part of the other side of the bone is gonna be hidden in the skin. You're not gonna see that. Now what we're gonna do, draw some more jagged lines with some tendons at the top and what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw some lines actually attaching to the bone. So, so I've, got, I've got two lines here some, and two lines over here and that's going to look like the, the tendons are actually trying to hold onto the bone. So it's, it's, it's gross I know but it, it looks effective when you get drawn. And now for the final bit I'm just going to add a few little extra rot lines just to make it look more effective and zombie-ish. So just randomly put in some just extra lines to show that the skin's sort of pulled back rotting. You can even put in some quarter circles like so. Over here, just put in some extra lines. Don't be afraid to cross, cross over lines as well. Extra lines like so. Now we've got our fingers. We can actually start putting in our lines for the, the knuckles. So where have we got it? Well, this one, we actually got our fingers sticking out, so we don't need to worry about that, do we? So we go over here and over here for our rotting hands. Make sure you sort of follow the shape of the fingers as well. And I'm going to put in some fingernails. So what you do with fingernails, sort of think like a curved box. So curve at the top, curve and straight at the side. But what we're going to do here is just jagged lines at the edge there. Same over this one because we're going to see this finger. Jagged lines. Anywhere else we can see a fingernail? No, 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 no. Well, there's no fingernail. And yes, because the thumb. So again, we draw a curve at the top, bring it down and jagged lines make it look more zombie-ish. 
Okay, so we've got all the lines that we need to draw our zombie. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my marker. I'm going to mark in all the lines that I want to keep and rub out all the lines that I don't want to keep. So let's get down to it, shall we? Okay, so we're looking pretty good. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put a base color of green over all the skin parts. Then I'm gonna get a darker green and just put some mark in for the shadows. And I've got some red that I'm gonna use for the skin and flesh and just put a few extra, a little extra bits around just to sort of show it's like blood's been moved and there's a bit of dirt and it's gonna look really effective. <music> If you want to see some more zombies, make sure you check out my comic Antispire. There's lots of zombies in there that the heroes fight, and all of them have hands. Well, most of them do. There's a link in the description. And... Uh, there you have it, a couple of zombie hands. They look pretty gruesome, but they look cool though, don't they? We've done well. So, how many times did you see the hand crawl by? Uh, count them all up, leave a message in the comments to let people know how clever and awesome you are, because this time you had to actually count them all, so well done you. So you've learned how to draw your zombie hands. What you want to do now is check out the video on your screen right now, so that you can draw the entire zombie in one go. So check out the video on your screen to draw a full zombie.